hello guys welcome back and thank you for joining another video from prime side here we're making a ninth repair lotion that exfoliates and smoothens if you're new to this channel do well to hit the subscribe button turn the notification bell so you can always get our post whenever i get to upload any video so so let's get down into our recipe today i'll first be measuring our, our first phase which is our water phase I'm measuring 350 grams of water, distilled water. You can substitute this with any of your hydrosols. I'll then set my measured up water aside and measure my vegetable glycerin. Vegetable glycerin is a humectant and will actually help to soften the skin, help to hydrate the skin, and help to moisturize the skin. I'll measure 20 grams of my vegetable glycerin and then I'll set that aside as well so in my water phase i'll first of all be dissolving my glycolic acid which is my exfoliant in this recipe so here i have 20 grams of glycolic acid powder here into my water and then i'm going to stir until it dissolves completely after dissolving and there is no trace of the powder anymore i'm just going to set this aside and then measure my edta I will give a list of the ingredients in this video so you keep watching you get this somewhere EDTA is a chelating agent it will actually help the lotion not to expire on time not to oxidize and also to preserve the shelf life of the active ingredients used here so here is my EDTA as you can see there are some particles in it it's not fully dissolved but it doesn't matter we're going to continue with our uh, formulation like that it is still effective even though it doesn't dissolve so i'm going to measure my oil phase which is my second phase and the first ingredient i'll be using here is my evening prime rose oil evening prime rose oil is a very beautiful choice of oil it helps to improve overall skin health it helps to combat eczema helps to smoothen the skin fight acne and a whole lot even when taken internally and externally I also have my shea butter i have 10 grams of my shea butter here and i'm adding this to the oil face then i have my olivine 1000 a fresh um wax i'm using this because i love the lushness that it gives the smoothness the smooth feel and the weight absorbs into the skin i'm using 20 grams of my olivine 1000 here and I'm going ahead with 10 grams of e-wax to serve as a thickener so the lotion won't be too runny and then I'm also going to be adding my sepi white powder 10 grams um, I want this to have a brightening effect even as it exfoliates so you can actually um, opt this out it's quite optional or you can replace it with any other active ingredient of your choice so I have my oil face ready here and I have my water face ready as well so the next stage is to heat our oil phase and our water phase to come to the same temperature see that the edta is still not dissolved but however we're still gonna heat right away and we'll bring it right back once they are ready but while we wait for it let's add together our last phase which is our cool down i already had my vitamin e oil Joma plus preservative and essential oil measured in here already out my camera i didn't know i wasn't recording but however i have four things here i have my antioxidants which is my vitamin e oil jamal plus preservative my fragrance i use coconut and apple fragrance and then my essential oil i use lavender essential oil since it's a night cream there will be need for an additional relaxing effect so that's why i choose um, lavender essential oil our water phase and our oil phase are ready the oil phase is totally dissolved make sure you're using a double boiler and you're you're dissolving on low heat okay and so um, check if your oil phase is fully dissolved and your water phase as well my water phase did not fully dissolve the edt uh, also but never mind we're going to formulate like that let the both phases come to the same range of temperature as you can see they are far a bit one was 54 while the other one was 68 so i would let them cool a little so that they can come to the same range of temperature so um i'll check the temperature again and we have our water phase to be 68.5 degrees celsius 
and the what the off is to be 62.9 degrees celsius so they're already in the same range and it's time to mix them together but before we mix them together we have to add our goat milk powder goat milk powder also contains lactic acid and this will help to give an extra exfoliation the minerals it contains also will help to give an additional nutrition to the skin so i'm preparing my milk my body milk already here after my milk is dissolved totally i'll go ahead to add my oil face into this while you are getting set for this make sure that your stick blender is very much ready and set aside so now i'm pouring my oil face into this and then i'm going to stick blend right away remember that this is still hot so it's not gonna thicken immediately but however as it cools down it's going to get its consistency so um i use my um, stick blender to homogenously mix this together and then i'll check the temperature see that it's about 55 degrees celsius i'm going to set this aside and allow it to cool gradually before adding my cool down face ingredients so after some time i come back and as you can see it started to thicken it started to get its consistency the temperature is about 48.5 degrees celsius so as you see as the temperature is coming down the lotion is getting thicker okay so i'll still set this aside it's still not time to add the cool down face ingredients we still have to wait for about 40 to 38 degrees celsius before we add the remaining ingredients all right so we are back again and see the thickness right now it's really really thick and our temperature is about 43.2 degrees celsius and it's still it's cool now but it still has to cool so we're gonna wait a little longer just a little longer so here we are again and our lotion has actually gotten the consistency that it needs to get the temperature is about 39 degrees celsius already so it's okay to put our cool and ingredients so i'm adding my vegetable glycerin now and then i'm going to add my remaining um cool down face ingredients which consist of my vitamin e oil jama plus preservative fragrance and essential oil so i'm just going to mix this together and further blend with my stick blender to make sure that everything is mixed in properly I wouldn't mix for too long because the more you mix i notice that it, it tends to thicken more although it becomes more creamy so you can just mix a little while make sure that everything is well incorporated and it's okay that way so here is our lotion our lotion is almost ready so the final stage here is to check the ph of this cream of this lotion remember that it contains glycolic acid so it's exfoliating and it has to be within the ph of three to four okay so i'm having a little into a clean picker and then i'm adding some water about two to three times the quantity of the lotion and then i'm going to stir to make sure it's really homogenizes and then i'm going to use my ph strip to check the ph of this lotion see that the ph falls within the range of six according to the um, color chart on the ph strip it falls it's pure yellow in color so it falls within the range of six and this is not okay by us because the lotion has to be around the ph of three to four so i'm going to use my citric acid solution 50 percent citric acid solution i'm going to share a video on how i made this 50 percent citric acid solution i'm going to add some drops into our lotion and then i'm going to stir this will help to bring down the ph of this lotion so i'm going to do this again i'm going to do the test again by using another beaker and then i'm going to um, repeat the same step i did the first time by adding some lotion into the beaker and then adding some water about two times to three times the quantity of the lotion mixed thoroughly again and then i'm going to use my ph strip to see where the ph will fall again this time and as you can see according to the chart on the color chart on the ph strip it falls within three to four and so we are okay with this lotion this way so in order for glycolic acid to be actually effective we have to use it in a ph within this range so i'm going to transform my lotion into my container as you can see how creamy it looks so beautiful large and it absorbs really quickly 
so i recommend this lotion to be used only at night if you want to use this in the day you can use that but make sure that you're not going under the sun probably you're going to be staying indoors and you would not come in contact with sun at all okay so that's the best way to enjoy this lotion to get all the effectiveness and benefit and so that it doesn't cause any damage to your skin so if this video is helpful to you please do well to hit the subscribe button please subscribe please subscribe please subscribe share give this video a big thumb up ask me any question under the comment section i will find out time to answer you our ebook on creams lotions moisturizers and body butters will be out in a jiffy and the link to purchase that will be under the description box so if you're interested you can get hold of that ebook get a chance now and get hold of all the knowledge to yourself okay so um please check the description box for more details about this video thank you so much for stepping by to watch this video i hope to see you in my next video and um, for now take care and i have a lovely day